light your lamp with your tears. Weep, so God will have mercy on you. But be cautious that you be small-hearted, for small-heartedness breeds many sorrows. St. Anthony the Great. Another time, timeless quote. It definitely leads to a reflection, a self-reflection, both in thought, in prayer, deed, word, and heart. <clears throat> this goes deep into what there is when it when it comes to the belief and reaffirming that belief through growing whether it be good or bad the struggles can change somebody they can change someone's attitude towards things and they can certainly set a tone for <clears throat> as he puts it small hearted and it breeding its many sorrows. Now, that's just it. It's living a life, whether you choose to or not, living a life in eternal, in eternal sorrow and feeling bad for oneself or being gracious, <clears throat> humble, and merc well, merciful to yourself, <clears throat> but also wanting the lord to have mercy on you and praying for your soul and the souls of others which is where a lot of prayer and a lot of mercy can come from <clears throat> now being cautious about it yes certainly be cautious about being small-hearted because that is important to not be so hung up on trivial things and so surrounded by things that aren't going to matter in the long run. However, life happens and realizing that not giving glory to something outside of yourself can hurt too. It can hurt that you get caught up in the same vicious cycles. It can hurt that you don't have that time to reflect on it and it can lead you towards <clears throat> things that won't bear fruit and things that won't be good for yourself and others <clears throat> lighting those lamp with those tears and weeping in a sense your soul is crying out to god for that mercy so then in return it's acquiring a bigger goal and having a bigger heart to acquire that goal instead of being so caught up in trivial matters and things that aren't going to matter for others and for yourself. 